on a normal day in this little model city, marbles will leave their houses in the morning, they will go to work in these little factories, some of them will visit a store after work, and finally all of them will return to their houses in the evening. But what if a virus starts to spread in this model society? Will it be enough to test marbles and to quarantine the known cases? Or will it be necessary for all the marbles to take action and reduce the number of social contacts? Hi, my name is Tobias and I think before we take a look at the results of the simulation, we should first talk about the parameters that went into the simulation. So um, let's start with the virus. Um, initially, all marbles are colored yellow, but when they get infected, marbles will turn red. And then for the first six days of the disease, they will not experience any symptoms. But after six days, they will start to feel sick and they will stay at home. And finally, after 14 days, marbles will um, become healthy again. And I assume that um, all marbles will become immune, which is shown with a blue color. And um, in the beginning of the video, I already showed you um, a glimpse of their daily routine. So marbles um, start in their houses, they leave for work in the factories and then uh, one randomly selected third of the marbles will visit the store each day and finally all marbles will return uh, home in the evening. So in each of these quarters of a day um, each infected marble has a 3% chance to infect any other marble in the same room. And as a room I interpret one, one floor of the building. And the difference between factories and uh, stores is that um, each marble has a fixed working place so it will always return to the same, same factory but um, the stores are random, randomly selected every day. The setup I showed you in the beginning was a bit small to gather statistics. So here you can see a setup with 100 houses, 50 factories and 50 stores, which results in a population of around 1000 marbles. In the first simulation we explore what happens if no uh, measures are in place to stop the virus from spreading. So marbles will just continue going to work and continue go shopping and only after six days when they feel sick they will stay at home but still um, their flatmates will continue to go to work so um, now it's about the sixth day so now we should see some of the marbles staying at home because they are sick but still as i said the flatmates will continue to go um, to work as you can see in the graph the number of infections is growing exponentially in this part of the simulation and it will continue to do so for some time. So let's fast forward a bit. Now that around 75% of the marbles are infected we can see that the growth is no longer exponential. Instead we are approaching a maximum here. And we can also see the first blue marbles which are indicating marbles which have become healthy again and are immune against the virus now. Finally, after six weeks, we can see that most of the marbles turn blue, indicating that they've become immune. And we can see that there are only very few red marbles left, so hardly any marbles are infected anymore. And we can see that also very few marbles are um, still yellow, so only a few were uh, lucky enough to evade the virus completely. In the next simulation I introduced a testing and quarantining policy. So um, marbles which start to feel sick uh, six days after the infection will get tested. And um, f as a result all their family members will be put in quarantine and also all the known contacts of this marble will be tested as well. So here in the simulation these are um, all the colleagues at work. The contacts this marble might have had in stores are considered to be not known and therefore there will be no tests among the, the marbles in the stores. Um, and the next day these marbles here will stay at home and also all the 
families of the positively tested um, colleagues at work. So let's see how this changes the uh, spreading of the virus. In the previous simulation, we were approaching a, a maximum in the fraction of infected marmals at around 75%. So here you can see that um, the testing and quarantining policy clearly has a large effect because we are approaching a maximum at 30% here already. Finally, in the third simulation, I added a social distancing policy to the testing and quarantining rules. So, um, seven days into the simulation, when the first um, cases are known, 50% of the marbles will uh, stay in home office and will no longer go to work. As you can see, the maximum in the number of infections is even lower compared to the previous run and most of the marbles don't get infected at all. So finally, let's take a look at all the results in comparison. To get better statistics, I repeated each of the simulations 10 times. So here you can see the resulting graphs. The graph in the left shows the results for all the simulations where no measures were in place. So you can see the fraction of infected marbles versus time. The graph in the middle shows the results for the simulation with the testing and quarantining policy in place. So that's where um, when marbles felt sick, sick after six days, marbles were tested and um, these marbles were put in quarantine with all their family members and also all their known social contacts were tested. And finally the graph on the right shows um, the results with the 50% home office policy in combination with the testing and quarantining policy. So what's the conclusion of all that? First of all, I want to say that I'm a computational chemist, so I definitely know a few things about simulations, but I'm not a virus expert. And secondly, there are limitations to this model, obviously. So we're not living on an isolated island with just a thousand people and the social structure of humans is really much more complex than uh, the social structure of this humble little marbles in my simulation. But still I think such a simple model can be really uh, good to get a basic idea of how effective certain measures might be. So is social distancing important in a virus crisis? Based on my simulations, definitely. And I think we can only really understand how important it is if we look at the capacity of intensive care units. So in a well-developed healthcare system, there are around 30 beds for 100,000 people. So if we translate that to the population in the simulation, there's only one third of a bed available for the 1,000 marbles. So um, if we look at the third scenario, still 10% of the um, marbles were infected at the same time. So that's 100 marbles. So depending on the fraction of people that need intensive care, even the third scenario might overwhelm even advanced healthcare systems. So it's really important that we reduce the number of social contacts, at least in the initial phase, until we really know how effective different measures are. So we all have to make our contribution there. If you want to know any more details about the model or have any other questions, let me know in the comments. And until then, stay healthy.